Electrical and electronics engineering is a field of engineering that generally deals with the study and application of electricity, electronics and electromagnetism. Electrical electronics engineering EEE, first became an identifiable occupation in the late 19th century after commercialization of the electric telegraph and electrical power supply. It now covers a range of subtopics including power, electronics, control systems, signal processing and telecommunications. Electrical and electronics engineering is an engineering discipline where nonlinear and active electrical components such as electron tubes, and semiconductor devices, especially transistors, diodes and integrated circuits, are utilized to design electronic circuits, devices and systems, typically also including passive electrical components and based on printed circuit boards. Electrical engineering has now subdivided into a wide range of subfields including electronics, digital computers, computer engineering, power engineering, telecommunications, control systems, radio frequency engineering, signal processing, instrumentation, and microelectronics. Many of these subdisciplines overlap with other engineering branches, spanning a huge number of specializations such as hardware engineering, power electronics, electromagnetics and waves, microwave engineering, nanotechnology, electrochemistry, renewable energies, mechatronics, electrical materials science, and much more. See Glossary of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. Electrical engineers design, develop, test, and supervise the manufacturing of electrical equipment, such as electric motors, radar and navigation systems, communications systems, or power generation equipment. Electrical engineers also design the electrical systems of automobiles and aircraft. Electronics engineers design and develop electronic equipment, such as broadcast and communications systems, from portable music players to global positioning systems, GPS. Many also work in areas closely related to computer hardware. Responsibilities of Electrical and Electronics Engineers Electrical engineers typically do the following. Design new ways to use electrical power to develop or improve products. Do detailed calculations to develop manufacturing, construction, and installation standards and specifications. Direct manufacturing, installing, and testing of electrical equipment to ensure that products meet specifications and codes. Investigate complaints from customers or the public evaluate problems, and recommend solutions. Work with project managers on production efforts to ensure that projects are completed satisfactorily, on time, and within budget. Electronics engineers typically do the following. Design electronic components, software, products, or systems for commercial, industrial, medical, military, or scientific applications. Analyze customer needs and determine electrical system requirements, capacity, and cost to develop a system plan. Develop maintenance and testing procedures for electronic components and equipment. Evaluate systems and recommend design modifications or equipment repair. Inspect electronic equipment, instruments, and systems to make sure they meet safety standards and applicable regulations. Plan and develop applications and modifications for electronic properties used in parts and systems to improve technical performance. Electronics engineers who work for the federal government research, develop, and evaluate electronic devices used in a variety of areas, such as aviation, computing, transportation, and manufacturing. They work on federal electronic devices and systems, including satellites, flight systems, radar and sonar systems, and communications systems. The work of electrical engineers and electronics engineers is often similar. Both use engineering and design software and equipment to do engineering tasks. Both types of engineers also must work with other engineers to discuss existing products and possibilities for engineering. What is electronics? Electronic is a study and use of electrical devices that operate by controlling the flow of electrons or other electrically charged particles. Electronics is a subfield within the wider electrical engineering that covers subfields such as analog electronics, digital electronics, 
consumer electronics, embedded systems and power electronics. What is the difference between electronic and electrical? Electronic work on DC and with a voltage range of 48 VDC to plus 48 VDC. If the electronic device is plugged into a standard wall outlet, there will be a transformer inside which will convert the AC voltage you are supplying to the required DC voltage needed by the device. Examples are computer, radio, D.V, etc. Electric device use line voltage, 120 VAC, 240 VAC, etc. Electric devices can also be designed to operate on DC sources, but will be at DC voltages above. Examples are incandescent lights, heaters, fridge, stove, etc. Explain advantages of storage batteries. Few advantages of storage batteries are Most efficient form of storing energy probably Stored energy is available immediately because there is no lag of time for delivering the stored energy. Reliable source for supply of energy The energy can be drawn at a fairly constant rate. Explain the application of storage batteries Storage batteries are used for various purposes. Some of the applications are mentioned below. For the operation of protective devices and for emergency lighting at generating stations and substations. For starting, ignition and lighting of automobiles, aircrafts etc. For lighting on stream and diesel railways trains. As a supply power source in telephone exchange, laboratories and broadcasting stations. For emergency lighting at hospitals, banks. Rural areas where electricity supplies are not possible. Why back EMF used for a DC motor? Highlight its significance? The induced EMF developed when the rotating conductors of the armature between the poles of magnet, in a DC motor, cut the magnetic flux, oppose the current flowing through the conductor, when the armature rotates, is called back EMF. Its value depends upon the speed of rotation of the armature conductors. In starting, the value of back EMF is zero. What is a system? When a number of elements or components are connected in a sequence to perform a specific function, the group of elements that all constitute a system. What is control system? In a system the output and inputs are interrelated in such a manner that the output quantity or variable is controlled by input quantity, then such a system is called control system. The output quantity is called controlled variable or response and the input quantity is called command signal or excitation. What are different types of control systems? Two major types of control systems are Open loop control system Closed loop control systems Open loop control systems The open loop control system is one in which the output quantity has no effect on the input quantity. No feedback is present from the output quantity to the input quantity for correction. Closed loop control system The closed loop control system is one in which the feedback is provided from the output quantity to the input quantity for the correction so as to maintain the desired output of the system. What is latching current? Gate signal is to be applied to the thyristor to trigger the thyristor on in safe mode. When the thyristor starts conducting the forward current above the minimum value, called latching current, the gate signal which is applied to trigger the device and no longer require to keep the SCR in on position. What is holding current? When SCR is conducting current in forward conduction state, SCR will return to forward blocking state when the anode current or forward current falls below a low level called holding current. What is the difference between holding current and latching current? Latching current and holding current are not same. Latching current is associated with the turn on process of the SCR whereas holding current is associated with the turn off process. In general holding current will be slightly lesser than the latching current. What is meant by knee point voltage? Knee point voltage is calculated for electrical current transformers and is very important factor to choose a CT. It is the voltage at which a CT gets saturated. CT current transformer. What is the difference between generator and alternator? Both generator and alternator work on the same principle that convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. Generator, it converts induced EMF, 
electromotive force, into direct current, where it based on stationary magnetic field and revolving conductor which rolls on the armatures with slip rings and brushes riding against each other. Alternator, it has rotating magnetic and stationary armature for high voltage and stationary magnetic field and a rotating armature for a low voltage. Difference between a 4-point starter and 3-point starter? The shunt connection in 4-point starter is provided separately from the line whereas in 3-point starter it is connected with line which is the drawback in 3-point starter. Why the capacitors works on AC only? Generally capacitor gives infinite resistance to DC components, that is, block the DC components. It allows the AC components to pass through. How many types of calling system it transformers? Onan, oil natural, air natural. Onif, oil natural, air forced. OFAF, oil forced, air forced. ODWF, oil direct, water forced. OFAN, oil forced, air forced. What is the principle of motor? Whenever a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field it produces turning or twisting movement is called as torque. What is two-phase motor? A two-phase motor is a motor with the starting winding and the running winding have a phase split. Example is a C servo motor, where the auxiliary winding and the control winding have a phase split of 900. What is Mark's circuit? It is used with generators for charging a number of capacitor in parallel and discharging them in series. It is used when voltage required for testing is higher than the available. Subscribe to our channel, Interview Gig. Visit our website for more articles and interview questions and answers. www.interviewgig.com Like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.